Sou a Gisele Moura. My name is Gisele Moura. I am 43 years old and I'm an accountant. My family, they had many problems, problems in their marriage. In reality, my parents, they got married in the northeast of Brazil. Then they came to Brasilia where I was born. And my father tried to get a better life in São Paulo. I was very young when I arrived in São Paulo. And we went through a lot of challenges, a lot of problems, financial problems. When I was five years old, I started to have spiritual attacks. I started to have visions, see visions, hear voices. Sometimes I could not even sleep because the spirits used to appear to me and speak to me. At that moment, without my mom knowing anymore what to do, so she went to seek for help in the witch doctors. And there they said that I needed to develop. I needed to get to know and do some obligations that were asked for me to be able to develop. At that moment, the marriage of my parents, they were almost separating. They had a lot of fights. They would attack each other. There was a day that my mom was extremely angry and she wanted to take the life of someone who was the mistress of my father. And on that day, she was possessed with an evil spirit. And it was a horrible day for our family because we knew about the spirits, but in a different manifestation of that it presented itself. And we even sought for help in a different church. And they said that they couldn't help us with that situation. And in the next week was when my mother was invited to come to the Universal Church. And in that time, the Universal Church was being persecuted on TV. And I said to her, go anywhere but not in this church because they're going to steal from you. They're going to end with your life. This is not a church. This is a cult. So don't go. And my mom said, I went and I felt very well and I'm going to continue going. And she continued truly going. I didn't accept it because of everything that was said in regards to the Universal Church. But after a few months after, I went on a Sunday with her. And on that Sunday, you might not believe, but they were having the baptism in waters. And my sister went with me and I told her, I said, let's go into this, in this pool, I said to her, let's go into this pool. And my sister said, no, we're not going in. Because this is serious. Because she was going to other churches and I did and this was my first time that I was going to a church, a Christian church. And I said to her, I want to go, let's go. And when the pastor saw me dressed with the baptism gown, he asked, will you get baptized? And in this period, I had some amulets of protection that we thought, I thought that it was of protection. And I was still devoted to some saints and I still had some strings attached to my wrist. And I said, yes. And in that moment, he explained to me, I had no idea of what was baptism in water until that moment. He explained to me, he said, from today, you are going to accept the Lord Jesus as your only Lord and Savior. And there will be no other God in your life, only God, the Creator, and His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Through Him, you're going to be able to come to God. And from today on, you're going to live your life according to the Word of God. And He said to me, can I cut all these things? Can I cut these amulets, everything? And I said, yes. But inside of me, I said, oh my word, how is he going to cut all my protections? Because until that very moment, I didn't understand who the Lord Jesus was. But when I went up the stairs going towards the baptism, I said, let it be as God wants it to be. I always wanted to find God and I knew that I thought that I knew and that I had a strong faith. But when I came down from the baptism pool, and he asked, do you accept the Lord Jesus as the Lord and Savior? 
And there I baptized. On that moment was the first day that I felt the touch of God. And that when I went to get changed, I started to cry and I said, what's going on? I started to ask myself, but I noticed I had a peace inside of me than any peace I've ever had. And from that day forward, I said, I'm going to follow this God. I want to get to know the Bible. I want to get to know who the Lord Jesus is. And I started to go to church every single day. I would go to church because I wanted to learn. And there I started to have a peace inside of me. And the spirits never bothered me anymore. I never had any problem in waking up in the middle of the night with a spirit attacking me, suffocating me. I never heard any more voices. And I started to notice that there were high and lows in my spiritual life. There were high and lows in my emotions. Sometimes I was very happy and content. And then sometimes there would come this emptiness, this sadness inside of me. And in that period, it was in 1997, that Bishop Macedo, he always had the messages that he would give. And in that period, it was speaking very strong about the new birth. And he would emphasize that the Holy Spirit, he would bring a complete peace, something that was complete inside a human being. And I started to analyze myself and think. It was when, in the Word of God, I found a word that said, there in Second Chronicles, and it says like this, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, I will forgive and heal their land. I made a decision and I said, I'm not going to stop to seek until I have the certainty of my salvation. And I would speak to God, I would implore and say, God, I'm nothing, but I want you more than anything in this life. I want to follow you until eternity. One day I want to get to know you. And when I noticed that God came upon my life on a Sunday, I was seeking the presence of God. And what I noticed in me is that Inside of me, there wasn't any more doubts. There was no more nothing. There was just a peace, a joy, that in that moment, I had the certainty that this is the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit inside of my life. And it was so interesting because in that week, I was testing myself. I was just searching and seeing, how am I? I, con I was continuing being well. And from there forward, I understood that now, truly, God, He's with me. He's inside of me. The seal of God is inside my life. In, in the journey with God, we have our fights, we have our difficulties, but the joy of God is always inside of us. It's stayed. And God has been taking care of me, taking care of my family. I am married. I am very happy. I am happy in my marriage. I have a blessed family. My parents are converted. They seek God. Today, I do the work as an assistant in the Universal Church. I participate in the evangelism group and I help in the Night Angels, which is also part of the evangelism group. I have a great pleasure in sharing the Word of God because I know that only the Gospel can change a person. The Holy Spirit today represents to me life, eternity, salvation, and having the Holy Spirit inside of me today is having God always inside of me and the certainty that I'll be able to see Him face to face. <laughs>